2K Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Rocket Mortgage Classic is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. Luke Elvey alongside 2002 PGA winner Rich Beam. And Rich, do you fancy this player's chances? Even with this massive lead, there is no lead large enough, I have to say. It's a very uncomfortable situation because there's only one place to go, and that's down. So this player has got to be aware of that, go out and try and play as rock solid the first three or four holes as humanly possible to continue that lead. Oh, I'm fired up too, Rich. Let's see how this one plays out. And let's see what he can do here today. Wonderfully played. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? The wind is at their back on this one. That's tidy. OK, Henny, what's he looking at with this putt? I've been all around this, tried to read it, just can't see it, but he's got about 22 feet. He's staring down a birdie putt here. This has eyes for the hole. Ouch, that hurts. And well hold. Let's move on. Very nice par indeed. Very solid hole played. He's currently sitting in first place. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. And a par four awaits at this next hole. Playing from around 150 yards here. Wind's blowing from left to right. I'm gonna try and hold it against the wind. Choosing the nine iron here. Unable to find the green on this one. Gotta believe the wind affected the golf ball there. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, I like the look of that shot there, Beamer. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. John, talk to us. What do you got for us? Hey, guys, we're down here checking in with Lydia Ko as she gets set for her next shot here on the fifth. Mm -hmm. That'll work. Not a good lie. Fortunate to hit the pin and go in. Next up is this two-shot hole. Time for the second shot into the third. Yep, that shot's safely on the green. This putt is about 15 feet to the hole. Now that's how you roll the rock. Ooh, nice putt to make for a birdie. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Ooh, bold play here. Going with the Chief off the tee. This is a big par five, isn't it? 
Tee shot, if you have any hope of reaching this green in two, must find the fairway, avoiding the fairway bunkers down the left-hand side. From there, you'd have to hit a really strong three-wood, moving it from right to left to try and chase it up onto this green. Laying it up short and right of that fairway bunker might be the play for most players, setting up a pretty easy pitch shot for their third. That's nicely done. Getting ready to play their third. <laughs> nicely done. Well, it's time to head back down to the fairways. John, what's up, mate? Hey, guys, we are checking in with Lydia Ko as she gets set for her next shot here on the seventh hole. Oh, so close. OK, time to return to the action. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Lovely shot. Oh, that settles the nerves right there. Great stuff. And now that finds him in first place. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honour on the hole. Going with the eight iron here. Oh, golf clap. That's a beauty. John, what's going on out there? Hey, guys, we are checking in with Lydia Ko as she gets it set for her next shot here on the eighth. This has a real chance. Never seen a scorecard that doesn't look good with a two on it. Go in. Ooh, right by the hole. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hole. Just three feet to the cup. Nice little par putt here. They're nicely hold. This guy is putting the lights out of it this week. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. This is quite an astonishing performance by our leader. Their advantage now out to double digits. I'm not sure if the chase back is good enough to catch them. Well struck from around 180 yards out. Wind is blowing left to right. Going to try and hold it against the wind. And he's safely on the green. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. That's a long-range bomb, and rest assured their rival will be looking over their shoulder. He sits in first position, and I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. 
deep into the front nine. Here we are at the seventh hole. Not bad. This one looks to be slightly offline here. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? Just six feet between here and the hole. This for a birdie birdie run. Oh, nice looking putt. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. Gotta like it, two in a row. Let's pick up the action at the 10th hole. Here's Lydia Ko. And the win is directly at her back. That goes down for an eagle. Nice little pitch shot, wonderful touch. Gets it to go. Mark me down for a three, thank you. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. Wow, that was just striped. Time for the second shot at the eighth. Feeling strong, going for less club. Oh, this wind really starting to get up. That was well managed. Oh, good look at a birdie here. And that putt will drop, and he'll extend his lead. Still in the lead now after that hole. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Now on the tee, fresh off a birdie, a great opportunity to build on that momentum. A stronghold indeed. Not much to this green, slightly downhill. Green is fairly flat until you get to the back left portion of it. There it starts running away from you awfully quickly. Anywhere in the right center of the green is a gorgeous tee shot. Yeah, well played. John, give us an update. What's shaking? Hello up there. We are checking in down here with Lydia Ko as she gets set for her next shot here on the 12th. Ooh, that almost went down. Let's catch up with the current proceedings. This putt from around 18 feet. This is what they have left for birdie here. Oh, just missed. Putting for a par here. Yep, you'll take that. A lofty position this player has held all tournament, but what a buffer they've built with just nine to play. Uh, absolutely, you dream of being in this position, ahead uh, by a 
bunch with just a few holes to go. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the view. They have put some hurt on that ball. Send it. From around 140 yards here. Wind back into their grill. They need to flight this one down. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. Okay, that'll work. What's in front of them, Henny, with this putt? Setting up this putt 17 feet from the cup. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Yeah, it's just about three feet away. Yep, nice to make a mid-range par putt. Currently in first position. But this is quite an astonishing performance by our leader. Their advantage now out to double digits. I'm not sure if the chase back is good enough to catch them. Let's see what happens here at the 11th hole. sure if that's what they're intending to do. What a shame. Has hit a lot of greens today, just not on this occasion. Oh, how about that one? Oh, gotta love it. Chipping in for birdie. Nothing better. Oh, that was a touch of class. Wouldn't mind seeing that again. Oh, yeah, look at those hands. What a chip shot. Now intrepid on course reporter John standing by. Hey guys, we are checking in with Lydia Ko as she gets set for her next shot here on the 14th. This hole here is a par four. That dog will hunt. And what's in front of them there, Henny? By my estimation, he's got around 170 here. Game with the seven. This one looks like it'll safely make the green. That was special. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Hello up there, we are checking in down here with... And there it goes from the sand. Let's get back to it, shall we? An opportunity for a birdie here. Was that a good line? Putting for par. Unable to take advantage of the great approach there, Rich. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Well, 13th, that's unlucky for some, Rich. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. And Henny, what's he facing with this one? 
Yeah, the breeze ruffling their shirt, hitting their back. It's going to be tough to control the distance here. He's looking for an early KO against Lydia after that. Wow, she's on the ropes and maybe down on the canvas if he continues. Chosen the pitching wedge here. This one is right down the pipe. Well, that'll be one of the shots of the day, that's for sure. What's in front of them, Henny? Straight back up this hill. Can be firm here. Frustrating. Par putt coming up here. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. Yeah, that one will play. Second shot here on the 14th. Ooh, almost went in. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Three feet to go here to the hole. Well played. What an eagle. He's currently sitting in first place. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Teeing off here at the 15th hole.
Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Yeah, that's a good line. That should find the surface. Terrific shot into the 15th and a chance for birdie. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. New Zealand's Lydia Ko setting up her next shot. Oh, that's a tasty looking chip. Top shot. Such soft hands. There's part of about six feet coming up. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. Looks good off the blade. Oh, what a round this is. Seven birdies today. A nice feeling it must be to have that sizable of a lead coming down the stretch. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. Three holes remaining. This is what it's all about. Time to see who is going to get it done. Stepping up to the 16th tee now. 16 is a wonderful par four, very difficult driving hole. You must keep it out of those three bunkers that dot both the right and left hand side of the fairway. From there, you're gonna have a second shot that's fairly flat into funny enough, a fairly flat green as well. Still, players are looking to make a solid four here. Nothing worse. Taking aim from about 170 yards. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. Oh, what a wonderful play. Leading with intent. It has been fantastic to watch all week long. This player is dialed in. And he's down there. You got a read? This is a 12 footer here. Looking for another birdie here. Oh, yeah, this is tracking nicely. That will work on a roll here with back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Let's find out. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Most players will be able to get it over the fairway bunker down the left-hand side, some 275 yards off the tee. And from there, it's a pretty straightforward second shot with a long iron, maybe a fairway wood. Those who like to lay up have to be mindful of the fairway bunker down the left-hand side. You can't get careless and knock it in there. Anywhere up and around the green, though, with your second shot, you should have a good opportunity to get it up and down for the birdie. Second shot here on the 17th. <laughs> Getting ready to play their third. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Seven feet to the cup. It's half a chance of being hold this one. And that will drop in for a birdie. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. But this is quite an astonishing performance by our leader. Their advantage now out to double digits. I'm not sure if the chase back is good enough to catch them. And a chance to ice the tournament here. Holding the lead, playing the last. Mm -mm. A thing of beauty. Standing up over this one after a bunch of birdies. Absolutely. It's been a good streak late in the round. <laughs> a 
Yeah, give yourself a pat on the back. And he can win the event here if he can hold this part. Oh, what a great stroke. No, that's too bad. All right, let's see if they can compose themselves. And not and ladies and gentlemen, there is your Rocket Mortgage Classic Champion. Great performance this week. And a great win on an old-style golf course by this player. Way to go, our Rocket Mortgage Classic Champion. But Henny, that was some impressive play to take down a rival of that caliber and to win the event. What a performance. Luke, while they've been out on the golf course, I've been cooking. Here, smell this. We've got to eat up. It's some humble pie. We shouldn't ever have doubted them. There was some spectacular golf out there and it was a pleasure to watch. Well, on behalf of myself, Luke Elvey and Rich Bean, thanks for tuning in. Catch you tomorrow.